Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all are aware that Brahmos Aerospace is in process of development of lighter and more lethal version of Brahmos Air Launch supersonic cruise missile which will be called Brahmos NG. As per reports, 5 Brahmos NG will be fitted on Su-30 MKI and 2 on LCA Tejas. The move is expected to bolster Indian Air Force future fighting capabilities against any threat from China or Pakistan. The new Brahmos NG missile will provide future ready air dominance to Air Force. While Brahmos is a joint venture between India and Russia, the new Brahmos NG will be making India product for most of the part. The design and development of Brahmos NG is being done by DRDO. The new version will cost half as much as the existing model. Being lightweight, Brahmos NG will also be easier to adjust according to the weight carrying limitation of LC Tejas. Only 1250 kg can be adjusted under the wings of Tejas, including the launcher. There is also limitation of space with landing and takeoff to be taken into consideration. On 26 December 2021, the Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh laid the foundation stone for the Brahmos missile production. The estimated cost of the project is about Rs 300 crore. The Brahmos Manufacturing Centre announced by Brahmos Aerospace is a modern state-of-art facility in Lucknow. It will cover over 200 acres and produce new Brahmos NG missile along with existing Brahmos version and the Brahmos NG will carry forward the lineage of Brahmos. The new centre would be ready over next 2-3 to three years and will commence production at the rate of 80 to 100 Brahmos missiles per year. According to Atul D. Rane, CEO and MD of Brahmos Aerospace, construction work is in full swing in Lucknow and the production of current version of Brahmos can start once the facility is set up. As we all know that Brahmos NG missile development is still in progress and DRDO is working on new design on miniaturizing the missile to maximum to reduce its footprint and weight but at the same time lethality which will be much more than the existing version of Brahmos. The attempt is to reduce the weight of Brahmos by half or one third of existing Brahmos missile. As we know that Brahmos is universal missile, however, the air launched version is slightly different from surface or subsurface version. The weight of land version of Brahmos is 3000 kg and that of air launched version is 2500 kg. With the reduced weight, the land version will be between 1000 to 1500 kg for Brahmos NG and air launched version will be between 1200 to 900 kgs. The dimension of missile is also very less with a length of 5 meters and diameter of 50 centimeters. The range of missile is same that is 290 kilometers however its speed will be one and a half times more than that of existing Brahmos missile which means it will be near hypersonic. The maximum speed of existing Brahmos missile is Mach 2.9 and it is expected that Brahmos NG will have maximum speed of 4.5 Mach which is close to Mach 5 that is hypersonic speed. The feasibility study of Brahmos NG is nearing completion. Once these preliminary studies are over, a detailed design of system will start. If things go smooth, the joint venture of DRDO India and NPO of Russia has planned to finish detailed designing within two years followed by system trials. The timeline to roll out the future generation of missiles that is Brahmos NG will be 5 to 7 years from now. Each Brahmos NG missile will cost approximately 2.6 million dollars. Now more speed means more kinetic energy which means more damage on impact. Further, the reduced weight of Brahmos NG will allow fighter jets to carry more such missiles. Tejas Mk1, for example, would be able to carry two Brahmos NG and heavyweight fighters like Su-30 MKI can carry maximum five Brahmos NG missiles. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.